excited to be here. This is actually my first Monktoberfest since the first one, uh, so it's it's great to be back. I've I've transplanted to the West Coast, but um, I'm always happy to make it home. Um, so uh, as you can see, uh, title stolen from BuzzFeed. Um, but what I really wanted to do with this talk is is look a little bit of, at the way social works today, and and maybe hopefully how it can get better. Um, I think we all know this in our hearts that today social media is a monologue. Um, as, as much as we talk about it as this incredible empowering tool that allows us all to connect and this great dialogue to take place and people interact, that does happen some, but, but mostly not. Mostly it's, you know, everyone with a soliloquy. Here's what I did today. Here's the politician I believe in. Here's why I'm outraged. Here's what I had for lunch. Um, and, and much less true back and forth, give and take. Um, and you know, it's just everyone's talking, but, but are we really engaging? Or are we just talking at each other, talking past each other? Um, and, and, you know, my first, as I was thinking through this and, and reading through this, my first thought was, well, yeah, sure, but there's, there's, there's common threads. You know, that's where the back and forth takes place. That's, that's where the, the true discussions happen. And I'll let you read it. Um, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes there is good interaction in the common threads. Sometimes there's intelligent discussion but a lot more of the time there's this. Um, you know, and it's funny. I mean, it, it, I, I, I found it, it made me laugh. Um, but, you know, I, I think we can look at, at these type of interactions and say, hey, we're a long way from true back and forth, from true give and take when, when things like this are taking place. Um, and that led me to thinking and, and doing some research about, okay, well, what's, what's different? Um, you know, if, if social networks are, and, and, and I use that term very broadly, you know, I, of course we think of Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, but you know, IRC, chat forums, you know, you, you name it. I'm, I'm trying to be as broad as I can when I, when I use that term social network for sort of any type of, of online interaction. Um, and I was, I was thinking about, okay, what is different? What's different about this? Being here, bumping into people, having conversations, or you know, sitting on an airplane like a lot of us did to get here or, or commuting to work every day or, you know, sitting down at lunch at a restaurant. What's different about that and, and Facebook? Um, and, you know, as I thought about it, real life is truly interactive, whether we want it to be or not. Um, you know, we ask questions and get answers. Uh, <laughs> And that's, that's a messy process. Um, at, at times a bit uncomfortable. Um, but, but I think, you know, uncomfortable is good. Not, not at the time it doesn't feel good. You know, at, at the moment I don't like uncomfortable. But when I, when I think about, you know, situations where we learn, where we grow, that, that make us see things in a new way, it is the uncomfortable. It's the mess. You know, we only grow when you get outside of that comfort zone. Um, that's, that's the only way we, we change. All right? You keep doing the same comfortable thing over and over again. Sure, that's easy. It's comfortable. We all love doing it, but, but it doesn't move us forward. Um, <laughs> Fighting words, as the expression goes. Uh, uh, but, but. Uh, just to be clear, the first life is not me. Steve and I have known each other since uh, actually before college, in, in my case, as, as we'll talk a little bit about. Um, but we all have our dark, sordid past. Uh, in the interest of full disclosure, 
I'm the douchebag in that photo who thought sunglasses inside at night was a good idea. <laughs> um, so, um, and, and I, I bring this up actually not, uh, not, not just to embarrass Steve, although that, that, that's mostly why, um, but actually it got me thinking about a story, um, which believe it or not does somehow tie into my talk. Uh, Steve and I, when we first met, had an awkward interaction. A real life awkward interaction. Um, little background, and sorry, this is a diversion. We are going to get back there. Um, I was uh, a senior in high school trying to decide where to go to college. Uh, Steve was a freshman. Uh, I went up to, uh, to Williams for the weekend. Um, you know, went out, uh, you know, big Saturday night high school kid at college. You know, you, you can imagine where it all went with, the, you know, the alcohol and the silliness. Um, and uh, the morning after that, that Sunday, uh, Steve gets a phone call. Uh, he is uh, not asked but instructed that he has to drive this annoying high school kid to the Albany airport to catch his way too early flight on a Sunday morning. Um, further background in, in Steve's defense, he at the time drove a 1974? Three. 1973 Mustang, which uh, was a fantastic car. Uh, he got about 1.3 miles to the gallon. <laughs> um, so the 75, 80 mile round trip to take me to the airport was not only uh, not real fun with a hangover, uh, probably gonna cost him a couple hundred bucks, which he wouldn't get reimbursed for. Uh, so he wasn't entirely pleased when he <laughs> had to pick up this random stranger in his car. Uh, and so we kind of sit down and I'm not feeling the best myself either. And we start driving uh, to the airport. It's been 10 or 15 minutes and I realize neither one of us has really said anything. And I'm like, ah, gosh, I should probably break the ice here or something. And we're driving up uh, through the, the, the Berkshire Mountains, uh, Western Mass, uh, upstate New York. Beautiful, beautiful country. It's fall foliage time. Um, you know, fantastic vistas and, and a motorcycle goes whipping past. And I'm like, oh, boy, it'd be, it'd be sweet to ride a motorcycle on this road, wouldn't it? He looks at me and goes, no. <laughs> 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 and I'm pretty sure that was the only words we spoke the entire trip. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, I tell that story again because it's funny, but, you know, that is the embodiment of the awkward reality of social interaction, real life interaction. Uh, you know, neither of us was super happy to be there. We were thrown into this situation and, uh, and, and, and we had to interact with each other, and, and, and yet eventually, we became very good friends. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I, I'm not sure I'd say growth, uh, but you know, progress. Progress was made. Um, and, and to me, that, that sort of awkward stage, that awkward car ride, is where it feels like social networks are today. Um, I think we can all agree that, that growth is needed. Um, and, and so the question becomes, you know, how do we grow? How do we help them grow? Um, and more specifically, you know, what can we do about it? Um, I, won't, I won't go, go too far on, on kind of the, the research and the boring quotes that I did. Um, but this actually is a topic of some interest right now, and, and I'll, I'll let you read without uh, you know, reading off the slides. But uh, in academia, in the media today, uh, people are looking at this. You know, um, it's funny. I, one, one thing I found talked about how, oh, you know, well, Twitter is, is the new public square. This is where the discussions take place. And then um, some scientists at Pew did, did some research on this, and, and it was, you know, fascinating data graphs. I would encourage you to, to look up the article. But... You know, when you, you, when you find a really polarizing topic on Twitter, uh, you know, politics, abortion, religion, you know, the hot button ones, um, and, you, and you graph the discussion that takes place, um, it's, it's not a discussion. It's not even an argument. It's really two groups ignoring each other, talking back and forth to themselves. Um, and, and, you know, I, I found this one, which I, which I thought was interesting as well, which, which dug into Facebook a little bit. Um, 
And, and I love the quote, you know, there's your, your, your wall on Facebook, right, which is, which is my public space. I'm inviting you all to participate and, and come and comment and, and be involved. But you know, there's a like button, but there's not a dislike button, as we've all noted. Uh, you know, but there's not, a, there's not a question button. There's not a challenge. There's not a seek clarification. You know, it's not a, a space for dialogue. Um, and, and so what is the answer? Um, and there's not a perfect one, of course. Um, but I think engagement. I think engagement is where it starts. Um, and, you know, this is a, a fascinating uh, thing I found a guy named uh, John Wibby, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and he was summary, summarizing some research done by um, academics at University of Minnesota, Utah, and, and UT Austin, uh, looking at something they were calling reciprocal journalism. Um, and, and this focuses a little bit on sort of the journalistic side of it, but I, I think it really works uh, in general with social because we all become journalists with social media. Um, and it's this idea of interacting, of, of, of not just putting something out there, but seeing how people respond to it um, and re-engaging and re-engaging and realizing that, um, you know, people are coming at everything with different viewpoints. Actually, you know, I, I love the first talk, which, which kind of rang a lot of bells for this the same way for me. Um, you know, we all come at everything with our own viewpoint, and it's really hard to, to step back away from those. But, but social media is a great tool for that. It, it, you know, we put things out there that people we don't know engage with, um, and people who come from different thought, thought processes and backgrounds can engage with in interesting ways. Um, and to me, question and answer is, is really the start. It's, it's, you know, going from a monologue to a dialogue. It's going from, um, here, let me tell you what I know or show you what I'm doing or spout what I believe to, let me ask you what you think. Let me ask you what you want. Let me ask you what you believe. Um, you know, and Q&A isn't perfect. I'm, 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 not, I'm not scouting that as, as, as the, the cure-all, you know, and, and I think, right, we've all been there. Um, but I do feel like it's a start, um, and, and, I, and I feel like it's, it's an interesting uh, place we can begin to move our social networks, whatever they might be, forward from, from monologues to dialogues. Um, and... I know I promised that I only had 12 slides, but this is the most important one, number 13, uh, which will come up after lunch. Uh, what's your favorite beer? Um, we're gonna do a poll. Um, so, so after lunch, uh, go, to the, go to the site and log in. It'll be curious to see uh, what everyone thinks. Uh, so excellent, that's, that's what I got.